celebrities slash YouTubers often say, I didn't ask to get this famous and become kids' role models. What is your take on that? Do you want me to read the rest or just? Because <laughs> it's a lot. No. Okay, so just what is your take on celebrities stating that they didn't want to, they didn't ask to be that famous, they didn't want to be kids' role models, blah, blah, blah. In short, I think it's bull. Okay. Because, so, what, you, you, you go into this with, like, a mindset that you're going to be known. Mm -hmm. People are going to know who you are. And so, when you put yourself out there like that, you have to expect people are going to look up to you. Think of, before, like, somebody else, say PewDiePie, before he was famous, I'm sure he looked up to somebody that was a celebrity, actor, something. And so if he looked up to somebody, he would expect other people to look up to him. And so, yes, at the end of the day, whether you expected it or not, you should still adjust your environment to be kid-friendly. Yeah, I think um, another thing is YouTube is mainly kids. And especially, like, in these times, it's very, very kid-based, you know? Like... You might have a few, you know, like, 30% of your audience be over, like, 25, but it, I, I doubt it's more than 30%, you know? Like, it's it's gonna be mainly kids, and so I think every YouTuber knows that. Every YouTuber has an idea, like, oh, especially nowadays, because everything's like, oh, if you're kid-friendly, then you, you're you gonna make big bucks and stuff like that, so it's like, you know... I think the whole thing of, oh, I didn't ask to be kids role model is very, like, you know, just dumb. You know, just that statement is just completely stupid. But then again, I do understand the business side of it where you're like, I want to grow my business. I want to be known even like, but, you know, I'm not expecting or I'm not hoping to be kids role models because it's like as soon as you become you know one million subscribers plus it's like you have more eyes on you everything wrong you do is instantly publicized you know what i'm saying so it's like you know it's just kind of like a toss-up really yeah exactly and like i mean i get that like these However old these people are, 23, 25, they want to have their personal lives. They're like, I'm an adult. I'm going to do what I want. But do it on your own time. You shouldn't be putting it out there for the whole world to see if you know that the whole world's going to see it. You really should write these before we do them. <laughs> so well, I'm I mean, not, like... Yeah. But. Yeah, same, to be honest. But um, another thing is, like, what, what if the YouTuber had like their main kid friendly channel and then they had another channel where it was like you know their explicit uncut their 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 real selves you know i still don't think that's okay because like the internet it's not secure unless the parents themselves secure it so you can't watch that you can't do that mm -hmm. it's not secure they're still going to find their way onto it like the impulsive podcast logan says this is a more mature thing, so if you're a child, you probably should be watching it. Doesn't mean they're not going to watch it. They're still going to watch it, just you advise them not to. So you think, so what do you think? Do you think that they should just completely be family friendly? I think that's boring. They shouldn't be completely family friendly. If, it depends on who their audience is. Like, if you know that your audience is between the ages of 8 and 12, you should make it family friendly. There's plenty of adults that are doing family friendly stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, but so if, and I mean, I think it falls kind of on the parents that if you don't want your kid watching this, then don't allow them to. Yeah, like, I I agree with that because even even me with Brayley, I completely deleted the YouTube app. I was like, no, no more YouTube. You're going on YouTube Kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did not let her... No. No YouTube. No. Yeah, as soon as I was, like... It's, honestly, it was after the Logan Paul scandal. 
-hmm. that's whenever I was like, nah, 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 nah. Praley, <laughs> YouTube Kids is for you. Yeah, I've been in the room with Jordan when she's watching, like, most inappropriate, not in inappropriate, but it's like, I think she shouldn't be hearing, like, um, some of Shane Dawson stuff is a little bit iffy. Other people that she's watched about, there's like this whole person, like, they do story times, I don't know their name, and they were talking about their first time losing their virginity, their first time smoking, their first time doing this, and I said, yeah, you can stop watching that right now. Yeah. Because that's not for you. Or, like, she has parental controls on Netflix. And this is another thing about it not being secure enough. She would just switch over to my Netflix. So she could watch things that she shouldn't be watching. So, whose fault do you think it is? Like, if you could point the finger at one person, would it be the kids? Would it be the parents not watching the kids? You know? Or would it be the YouTubers? Or YouTube, the platform itself. Uh, not just out of YouTube itself. It's kind of like... Yeah. But at the end of the day, I think it'd be like kids' fault, depending on their age. Mm -hmm. Because at 10 years old, I knew what I shouldn't and should be watching. Are you going to disagree with that? Like, you watch... Uh, I mean... Mm, it's not that I didn't know. It's that... Uh, okay, so... Jesus Christ, when were we, when were we, like, 10? So it's 2018, so 2012. 2012 is around the time that I started finding out about, you know, KSI and stuff like that. And, you know, KSI back, back in his day was a lot less, I mean, a lot more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um. Inappropriate. Yeah. Inclusive. Vulgar, you know, well, just a little bit. But, you know, I... I would like to think that just because I watched his videos, it didn't turn me into, like, I wasn't as impressionable as kids nowadays, where it's like, I watched one video and he's talking about, you know, he's making dirty jokes and stuff like that, and then I go and do that with my friends. I wasn't like that. I was just like, haha, this is funny to myself, and then I just go about my day. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, w I didn't even know any, like, inappropriate stuff until I met you, actually. Oh, thanks. Not even a lie. <laughs> At 10 years old, people I watched on internet, because I wasn't, like, big into the internet, like, oh, YouTube, these are my favorite YouTubers. Yeah. I watched Maddie B. Yikes. And that's it. The li music I listened to, Austin Mahone. He was around in 2012? Oh, when I was, like, 10 or 11. Dang, that's crazy. No, I thought he was only, like, he's only been in the game for, like, three years. Uh, no, nah, he's been, not three years now. He fell off three years ago. Oh, that's a rip <laughs> in the chat, boys. But, yeah, and, I mean, even at, like, six, seven years old, I knew I should be watching. My, it was, like, seven or eight, and I was watching Malcolm in the Middle, and there was a naked lady on there. Ooh, naked lady. And my mom said, you can't watch that anymore. See, yeah, my mom wouldn't let me play GTA until... <laughs> Until middle school, but it's my funny because um, Cheney, my friend, mm -hmm. he was the person that convinced my mom to let me finally play GTA. I was like, my mom my made G me stop playing GTA around like seventh or eighth grade because I was having nightmares about killing people. But how do you know I kill people? <laughs> but yeah, even like I was telling you about a, I remember in sixth grade or seventh grade, I was telling you about a movie that I watched, and your mom was like. Oh, she's not allowed to watch that because it was about like demons or whatever. Oh yeah, my mom is so big on like no demon stuff, no ghost stuff. Like, That's she funny. was, yeah. <laughs> she's like, no, no, no. Wave of YouTubers come in, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, you say one cu cuss word, demonetized. You say this type of joke, demonetized. You can't show this. You can't show that. It's like, what the heck, yo? You know, personally, I like that type of content. You know. Mm -hmm. I, I don't care if there's, you know, a cuss word or two, you know, but mm -hmm. it's like YouTube just totally cut it off, and it's like, that's not fair to creators, and that's not fair to people, I'm gonna say people in high school, and up, you know, mm -hmm. so. I think they just become, like, because of how widespread it is and you can't control it, they've become, like, a lot more sensitive to, like, mm -hmm. what's put out there, um, just because it's, like, on, they don't want any backlash from it, because, like, these parents are sensitive like oh i don't want my kid watching that so then they gotta to save themselves so they've gotta like do something about it like people were coming at youtube about oh my gosh why is the logan paul thing why was that up there so they had to start 
adjusting yeah. themselves. But yeah, it's most people are sensitive now. Like the thing with Kevin Hart, they're sensitive to the jokes that he made, and so now they're gonna ruin his career now. So what is your final words on that? Is it the YouTubers fault? Kids fault? Or parents fault? The kids fault. Okay. What about you? Um, I think it honestly depends on like what YouTuber it is, what they're like what they're doing. And then, you know, the kids' retention of it. Like, how they how they perceive it. But then again, you know, obviously parents can't 24-7 hawkeye their kids. But you should be smart enough to know, especially now that, like, social media is so big and stuff like that. You should know, like, what's out there and how to, you know, prevent it. Yeah, like, the thing, will be the final thing I say, I guess. Mm-hmm. So, we, you know... But all these things, it's how, it's everything people joke about, they do, this and that. It's been around forever. Yeah. Just now it's being publicized. Thank you, next. Oh, that's another thing we should talk about, that stupid meme. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to slap a like on this video. Um, comment down below. Wow, it's been a while since we said this, bro. I'm yeah, losing from, my touch. I was about to say, not screw Bray, I'm going to make my own channel. Oh my. But, you know, I didn't have time to, like, I'm going to eventually, like, next year I'll start making the channel. But New I Year's have, resolution? I forgot a lot of those, actually. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I don't know if it'll happen, but... Yeah. Um, anyway. We should actually make a video about our New Year's resolutions. I'm down. <laughs> Yikes. Um, okay. So, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I almost said comment down below again. Um, is that it? Yes. See, See y'all next, next time. time. Ew. <laughs> <laughs>